Hi, it's me again. I have returned and we're back in the house and I thought, hmm, maybe I'll just take you through a really quick one minute tour of the house so that you can see it from the inside live with explanations and stuff like that. What do you think? I could narrate it after, but kind of walking makes it a little more fun. All right, let's go here. Unplug the cable. And we got to pick everything up and do it all over again, just like we did on the outside tour. So it may get a little bit dizzy. Steph, be careful. Make sure you're far enough away so you don't get dizzy while I move around here. Okay? Here we go. Zoom. Okay. Start off over here at the kitchen. It's a very tiny little kitchen, as you can see. This is where I do all my cooking and eating. The refrigerator is there microwave and stuff like that. Okay, if we just back up and look around here at the living room, you can see how small our living room really is, but it's comfortable for just the two of us, you know. And because I have the air conditioner out there, air conditioner conditions air, which means it dehumidifies it. Uh, unfortunately, we hate living with laundry, but we live with it here. So I'm not supposed to show you my bras. We live with it here. And that's just the way it is. Looking in on my office, this is where I sit and write to you all and write my stories and do my work and my studying, of course. I've had to close this down, but the sun's moved off, so it, I can probably open it up again. And there's my, oh, uh, there my, there's my work. My hats are up there, and the industrial size fax is here. Close this door. Oh, lost balance, lost balance. Trying to close the door, lost balance. Uh, this door right here, normally you keep a butsudan, which is the giant home uh, grave, I guess you could say, that uh, you know the grandma and grandpa go into little bits of their bone and they get prayed to there. This is the bonsai. This is the bonsai that Masaki made for me. And it's entirely made out of paper, including that rock, and including the the uh, pot. Okay, we got to open the door here and head out to the little bathroom. This is what I was telling everybody about. You know, you don't need to have a toilet with a shower in the same place. Why not put it under the stairs, just like this? Here's our foyer. This is right where Tug used to sleep. And this is the little okimono that Tug made, uh, that uh, Masaki made, and it's Tug. There are some of Tug's bones right there. And this is like his little place where he rests. This is the wild boar that Masaki made for me. Pretty good, don't you think? And this is just sort of what our place looks like with the boots, the jacket, and other stuff like that. It's sort of jumping around now because the lighting is very poor in here, I'm assuming. Okay, we're going to open the door here and just do a quick look through the bath area here. All right, here is the where we wash the laundry and the sink. And if I can get the door open here, this is the self-contained bath that I tell you is the most wonderful thing. It is totally self-contained, so you stand here and shower here, and when you're nice and clean, then you get in the bath there, and you sit and soak in that tub. And you've seen me in that tub before. Uh, it has a fan in the ceiling. It's totally enclosed, so none of the steam comes out here. You don't have to struggle for the toilet. People can, can come in and wash and everything like that. It's a perfect perfect system. Okay, now we're going to go upstairs, okay? Heading upstairs. Sorry for this. Uh, it's just kind of because of the lighting here. Oh, 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 I tripped. All right, we're going into the master bedroom here. Here's the master bedroom. This is the little futon kansoki I was telling you about, Paula. See? There's a little thing that sits here. And if I pull the sheets back, you can see oops, that there's this 
bag here, right? And we turn it on like that and see? See how it fills up with hot air? And you let it run for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes and it heats the whole bed up. The actual purpose of this is to dry it, the phthon and the bedding because it's so humid here and uh, it helps to uh, be able to dry it out otherwise it gets damp. My used dream, this walk-in closet, this is fantastic. We love this place because it allows us to actually have a walk-in closet where we can put dressers and drawers and stuff and get it out of the way. Otherwise, it would normally, in the normal Japanese house, they would all go in this tiny bedroom, which is, in fact, the master bedroom. When it focuses, you can look outside, see the mountains, and everything like that. Get a bird's eye view of what we look at every single morning. Beautiful, don't you think? I do. All right, heading out. Oh, look at the time. It is just past 3.30 in the afternoon. Around the corner here, and we have another, whoops, sorry, little bathroom right upstairs. See, just above the other one, tiny little thing. That's all you need, nothing more. I mean, people aren't doing funny things in the, on the toilet, are they? I hope not. You're not both all peeing together, I hope. We pee uh, separately. This is one of the other kids' bedrooms, but we converted it into a laundry room. Uh, Mayu likes to keep all of her clothes hanging because it airs them out. Normally, for outside of the winter time, we do all the laundry here and we get up, keep it up here and out of the way. But if you come to visit us, this will be your room and we clean it out. And then this is the other bedroom where the son of my friend stayed. This was his room. Sorry, turn the light on. And you can see it's just a spare room. If other people come, we we'll put you on these bunks here. Just clean the stuff up, move it out of the way. And you got a little room, a little private room. Here's my workout equipment. And this is what I use to push my 1,200 pounds of weight and everything like that. Uh, nothing moves, but you push this bar and it records it by the pressing on a plate down there and records it on this meter. These are called shoji. They are what's known as rice paper, very thin paper. And uh, it's kind of nice because it goes over the window, closes the window. People can't see in. You can't see out, but you still get all of the, well, not all, but a lot of the light coming through. You see? So if we move it up and open this up like this, we get to look out through the dirty window at the dickhead's bedroom, which is right there. Those cans in the window, that's insecticide. And from here, there's the scenery again of the beautiful mountains. The only problem with this, with this paper is it's so thin that it's very easy to get old and rip. So you see, that's kind of ripped and torn away. Now we could easily replace this. You just take them out, and every year they usually do. They take them out and uh, replace them by just washing them off and uh, then putting new stuff on and gluing it back on again. So it's no problem. But, you know, we're not in here very often, and light off, Johnny. And, uh, yeah. So. That's the only room that has it. The other rooms we put curtains on, and I think uh, one of the other rooms actually had it, but we took it off because we prefer it to be, you know, a little more Western than Japanese. Coming back to the dark room, which is my office. And we have returned once again to the living room where it is lightest of all and where we can safely hopefully say once again oh god that's kind of cool got myself set up there so that I look like I have oh I have a halo I'm an angel <laughs> see you later guys I'm crazy I gotta get back to work studying too bye and there you have it the brief X minute house tour I hope you enjoyed it have a good day, and we will see you again later. All right? Bye.